Hello everyone. In this video, we will see default argument concept in C++. So when we write a function uh, in C++, in those function, if we, those function need any argument, this concept says that we can assign a default value for some arguments. So in K case, when those function called and if those argument is not specified, default value of those argument will be used. So here we will go into uh, we will see a example then this thing will be more clear now this is space okay so we will stay we will write here a simple function fun this function will be having three variables in p in c and we will print value of the arguments v. And the else this will print output on the next line. And okay. So this is a simple function with three argument. And in order to in order to call this function, we need to specify. We need to pass these three argument, otherwise there will be one error. Now, what we want, we want to assign some default value for some argument. So let's say we are uh, we are assigning a value 34 to this argument. So what is the meaning of this scenario? It says that while calling this function, if third argument is not specified, in that case 34 will be used as a default value so let's see whether this is working or not so we are calling this function with two argument so what this will do it will take this third argument value 34 so let's compile this program and then see the execution part so if you can see the third variable considered 34 but if we specify any value in that case this value will not be considered so now it's printing 90 so default argument say a uh, concept says that some default value will be assigned to argument and uh, at the time of calling those function if those arguments are not specified not passed in that case default values will be used now uh, there is an important thing you need to know if you want to make a argument default so there is a constraint that uh, whichever argument you are making default after that argument all argument has to be default uh, let's say I want to make first argument default argument but constraint says that if a argument is default all the argument after that argument has to be default argument so in order to use this default argument concept B also has to be default argument, C also has to be default argument. If I will make only this argument default, in that case there will be one error. So there is a error. So this default construct a uh, default argument concept is that if a argument we are making default, all argument after that has to be default argument. So if we make now all these three argument default now there is no error because this constraint is satisfied our arguments are default a default argument after that b also default c also default if we consider this b after b we are having one argument c and this argument also default argument thank you for watching